<laughs> All right. Um, hey, we could probably go for some ice cream now, right? Um, Want to fill us in there, Cliff? I was looking at the difference in vanilla. Okay. I swear. Um, so uh, I was going to make something else, and yesterday the class said uh, cheesecake. They voted on cheesecake. It was Reese's or cheesecake. I understand. I'm going to get to that. <laughs> and because they wanted a, a demonstration of how you get those nice swirls in the ice cream, which is called a variegate, uh, they voted on cheesecake with a variegate of cherry. So that's what we'll make. We'll make cherry cheesecake. Is that okay? It works for me. Okay. We really chose strawberry. No, I don't use strawberries. <laughs> I'm anti-strawberry. Okay, cherry cheesecake. So let's think about the two things. There's two elements, cheesecake and then the cherry variegate. And uh, you want that nice look to it, so we'll, we'll work on the variegate, and we'll prepare the variegate first. The ice cream will come into this uh, because we need to be able to work it. You'll see. We'll get the variegate done. Uh, so let's talk about the, uh, the variegate, variegate, variegate. Oh, and we have a friend. Uh, a container, okay. So the variegate is, uh, if we're making cherry cheesecake, you can make anything. You can make peanut butter and jelly cheesecake. You can make anything you want. Uh, so I usually like to prepare the variegate before we make the ice cream, because the ice cream will only take six, seven, eight minutes. Uh, the variegate will take some time. So we're going to make a cherry variegate. So I brought a quart of maraschino cherries in, and we'll put those in here. And then I brought some Tarani cherry. Uh, so we'll put that in there. About that much, I guess. We can always change it. Because it's the thickness of this that's going to determine everything. I also stopped this morning and got some Smucker's Cherry Preserves. And they are all natural, which is kind of a cool thing. Uh, and I wasn't sure whether to put them in here or put them in here. Uh, I think we'll put them in here so that in the variegate, we'll get not only a swirl, but we'll get some cherry pieces in there. That should be pretty good. So let's see what this happens. And let's see what we got. Now that's pretty good. Uh, and all it is is maraschino cherries and some Tarani cherry stuff. Stuff, it's stuff. And to this we'll add that, um, what do you call it? What is it? Um, what? No. We'll, the Smuckers, thank you. Smuckers. And of course, you know you could do this with anything, right? Blueberry, pineapple, strawberry, strawberry. <laughs> How much of that bottle did you pour? Can we hold up that bottle, Steve, please? Oh, maybe three ounces, that's yes. all. Just enough to wet it down. That's about a quarter of a cup. 
Okay, four ounces. Imagine two days with that. Uh, sure, one three and a half. <laughs> and now we'll uh, we'll we'll whisk it a little bit because we added those uh, uh, smuckers things. Preserves. Preserves, right? You didn't catch that? <laughs> no, I was actually thinking about in the old days you used a paint mixer. Right, but not for this. Proud of it, but now you've got this. Uh, well, not you know, for this. I five hundred dollar uh, no, what I no, what I asked well. for is a hand whisk. We used to have a hand whisk here. Yeah, it's around but somewhere. But it's not here. That's all I needed was a hand whisk. Okay, so now the variegat is ready. And the, uh, the ice cream is ready to roll. A uh, little thin. It's a little thin. What do we do now? I've added all my stuff. Got any cherry preserves handy? No. I don't. Okay, that's uh, all right. We'll, what we'll... about pineapple? No. I got pineapple. No. Cherry, pineapple, whatever. Okay, we'll make do. We'll be all right. You use less mix? No, that's, uh, that's a separate deal. That's all right. We'll be all right. Don't, don't worry about what he says. What? <laughs> We're not home. We have nothing here. We're, this is like working out in the field in, when you come here. If you don't bring it, you don't get it. <laughs> We're lucky we get the mix here. Yeah, and be happy with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's older than you. <laughs> it's for show. We'll be okay. Cookie butter. Yeah, cookie butter goes with everything. <laughs> How about we just pass around the jar of cookie butter? <laughs> we'll be okay. We'll be all right. Don't worry about it. We'll be okay. If we were back home, what would we do? Sure, little little Giardelli white powder, like you said. What wouldn't we do? Cornstarch. All right. So, the uh, the cheesecake mix, Jello no bake cheesecake, and as I told you, you don't want to go buy Schmello no bake cheesecake. You want the real stuff. Each package. Each box contains two things. One is going to be the cheesecake mix that Jell-O makes, and the other is going to be crushed up graham crackers. So we'll add all this stuff. Did you put the graham crackers in there? What? Graham crackers in there that's picking it up? Yeah, you could. Yeah, it will. Yeah, or the no bake. Or the, uh, mm -hmm. the cheesecake stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see which one we will use. See, they go to my class, they become instantly knowledgeable, creative. Innovative, very innovative. <laughs> if anybody's watching, Jeff's next class is January 7th through 8th. And then my class here will be the very next day on the 9th. It's a great time to be in Florida if you live in the north. Getting there, right? Now I have a feeling as it sits, it's going to even become a little more thick. But that's pretty good. We can add a little more, right? Why not? I'll tell you why not. Why not? Well, you don't want it too big. Well, no, we, we got to add this. The, we got to make cheesecake ice cream. The graham crackers wouldn't hurt if we didn't have as much in the. Right. How about the grape nuts? You want no. to use grape nuts? <laughs> no. Okay, we're there. We're all right. 
So what we'll do is we'll add the, the other stuff to the uh, <laughs> Brad saying, what the hell did I get into here? <laughs> and of course, do we add it now or turn the machine on? What do we do? Turn it on, right? Of course. Maximum mixability. And we always have all our ingredients ready to go, right? What? Wait, I didn't remember you didn't see you put the mix in there. I didn't. Okay. It's on top of the, oh, the mix in the machine? Yes, I did that. You were busy thinking of another question. Now the time to All right, let's add some vanilla, because this, this recipe definitely would call for some vanilla. How many ounces of mix did we use? How many? Five, five quarts. Oh yeah, just dump it in, you're not paying for it. <laughs> when did you come what on a, to that? What a hypocrite. When did you get on Gee. to me? <laughs> the day I came in here and my full gallon was down to an eighth. <laughs> Okay, we'll add this stuff. <laughs> if you're not going to catch it, stand by the basket. Just stand by it. Here. No, no, just, just stand by the basket. I'm not being your backstop. Dad, you're the backboard. <laughs> we need to work on this one. <laughs> we didn't practice this one. See how much fun it is to be here? <laughs> okay, let it rip. <laughs> okay, we're good. I want to taste it before we actually go to freezing. Just to make sure that we got everything. Weren't you over there before? Okay. Is everybody cool enough? Temperature okay? Okay. Okay, that's very good. Okay, any questions about this? You were over there before, weren't you? No, actually, they came in a lot late. <laughs> okay, the, the variegate. Now, a lot of people think that when it comes out, you add the stuff on this side as it's coming out. It's near impossible. Remember yesterday we made chocolate fudge brownie ice cream and, and uh, the girl, they're not here. Oh, there you are. And you added uh, the, uh, the brownies as it was coming. It wasn't easy, was it? Certainly one person can't do it. Uh, I never had any luck with doing that. So I thought about how to get a swirl in the ice cream if you're adding something because you go to Baskin Robbins and there's some nice swirls in their ice cream so this is what I came up with. It seems to work okay for me, but you need one key thing. What is that key thing? You need a flexible tub, uh, and you'll see why. It's kind of a cool thing. Uh, what are we going to put it in that's clear so they can see the variegate? How about here? This is, this is clean. Yeah, you can see through these. By the way, if you're buying these, these are Cambro containers, and I use them also, C-A-M-B-R-O, and I use them also. However, I learned a very costly lesson. Uh, I have about 350 of them in my store that we put the ice cream in, and I decided to buy some more, so I went to, uh, can I say the name of the book? I, I went to Web Restaurant Store, which is now Webstaurant, 
and I ordered another 50 or 60 or something. And the ones I have are the, uh, see they're milky, and these are what they call clear. And the, uh, the clear ones are more expensive when you go to Restaurant Depot to buy them. But I didn't know, so here comes a shipment from Web, Websterant, and they're clear ones. And I said, oh, goody, they sent me the expensive ones. However, these are garbage. They crack. They crack quickly. The lids crack within two weeks. The bodies crack within two months. The other ones I've had years, eight years, and they're fine. But the clear, what they call the clear ones, I don't think this is a clear, is this a clear one? I'd call it clear. Yeah, the clear one's no good. And I've since learned the difference, polypropylene, poly, poly, polystyrene. And when you, when you have spoons, when you go to an ice cream parlor and you have a spoon and you put it in the ice cream and it bends, those are polystyrene spoons and you don't want those in your store. What you want are the hard ones, either they're called heavy duty or polypropylene spoons and they won't bend. They'll just snap and break and stick your eye out. Uh, but luckily for us, homemade ice cream is softer than store-bought ice cream, so you're okay. But there's a difference in spoons, just like in containers and everything else. So <clears throat> don't buy the clear ones. They're, they'll break. They'll crack. And then somebody will come up and go, okay, okay, okay. So I guess you would say that when it comes to spoons and tubs, there are a lot of differences, even though they're called spoons and tubs. Absolutely. Same with Just straws, like too. Just like vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> you won't let go, will you? <laughs> okay, there is differences in everything. And now there's a big push on to end plastic straws. Oh, yeah. Uh, which I'm against, that's, that's ludicrous. The, you're not gonna save the world by, by not drinking through a plastic straw. Oh, you are wicked if you don't use cardboard from only oh, one, one manufacturer, and they're four times as much. A straw is a straw. Look, how long has this earth been around? <laughs> uh, we used to fight for this stuff in the 60s, but now I'm totally jaded. Uh, not using plastic straws is not the answer. How about those water bottles? You think somebody might address that situation? <laughs> yeah. Put them in cardboard water bottles. Because Billions the water bottles, uh, there's gazillions of those sold every week. Everybody's got them. There's one right there on the table. And you're not going to recycle that. It's going right in the trash. So there's what you should address. Water bottles, not straws. You ever drink through a paper straw? You know, it gets gummy up here and you don't like it. I, I want you to know that Jeff used to be a, a card-carrying liberal <laughs> until he met me and he sat in the back of the row and watched how ice cream is made. And now I said, what turned you? He said, have you seen my tax bill? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are working good here. This should be pretty good. Good. Can't wait. We have a real treat after lunch. We're going to have milkshakes, malteds, and floats. And a sci berry Italian ice. Now, how do you know when it's ready? As Steve said before, we differ on this. I have a scientific oh. approach to it. When when the ice cream maintains a peak, when after what I just did, you know, it, it holds a peak in the ice cream, then it's ready. Steve lets it go a little longer. I don't, I take it out sooner. However, when we're making a variegate, you have to let it go longer. Otherwise, when you try to mix the swirls in, you'll just get soup. It'll be a watercolor rather than an oil painting. That was good, right? Watercolor. Now, normally I would pull this now, but because we're doing a variegate, 
we have to be, make it a little stiffer. Any questions? Yes. Yes, Jim. You do everything in batch. You never do anything out of batch. I don't understand. Like you were saying, how you add the stuff coming out of the machine? You add everything in the machine? No, this time we're not. <coughs> we're going to add this after it's out. Out of batch. I used to make Milky Way ice cream by heating Milky Way bars on the stove under a low light till all the Milky Way bars dissolved. Then I would slowly add mix to it until I had what I wanted to put into the machine after it cooled the next day. But I've since come up with a, a method where you don't have to do that, where you could take any candy bar, any candy bar, Kit Kat, Clark bars, Butterfingers, Snickers, Almond Joy, anything you want, and make perfect ice cream. Let's see how we're doing. Aren't you gonna tell them the secret? Not yet. You always gotta create a suspense first and then work the crowd. Okay, we're getting there. It's in the book anyway. I mean, everybody knows it, but it's all on the, the index to these videos. And that doesn't say Fruit Loops, Florida. It says Fruitland Park. Yeah, but nobody's ever heard of Fruitland Park, and I'm making Fruit Loops Florida famous. <laughs> Is that why I haven't been getting the checks? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Okay, we are almost ready. See the frost building up here? We talked about that yesterday. We're ready to roll. So what do we do? We shut the refrigeration, listen to hear the compressor turn off. There we go. Now we know, we, and in my store, once you hear that, you look to see what? That the water has, has not going circulating anymore through the machine. And it's Is off. Is that correct? It's okay. off. So that's, you just get into the habit of that. Turn it off, listen for the compressor, check the water, empty the machine. It's just habit, that's all. Now what do you notice about this? The color, right? All, most homemade ice creams are beige. I'm fine. They're I'm bland good. in color. Why? because we don't add any artificial colors. We don't add red 42 and, and green, and God forbid, Superman ice cream. You ever see that stuff, Superman ice cream? Red, blue, and yellow. I make it all the time. Superman ice cream, all natural. I do. Uh, so, so there we go, oh, don't start with that. <laughs> For red, you use concentrated uh, beet juice made by Green Mountain Flavors. It's bright, bright red, and it's made from the reddest thing on earth, beets. Uh, for the blue, you can use spirula, which is hard to pronounce. Use what? Spirula or something like that. I can't <laughs> pronounce it. It's got a longer name. What you have to do is cough when you say it. Yeah. You can, for blue, you can and, add uh, <laughs> So you can do any colors you want now, all natural, thanks to uh, Stan Sitton and Green Mountain Flavors. Great guy to talk to. We'll get out all we can here. Eh. That's right, I got it. Okay, so we have our tub of ice. Look, she's supposed to video. You're, you are? Come on up here. <laughs> and you can see the ice cream is, is stiff instead of uh, a little looser like I normally do it. And to make the variegate, you notice this is a squishy container. We're going to pour it into this. So what we'll do is we'll take a layer of this and just lay it on top.
and then we'll give it four folds. One, two, three, four. And that's what it's going to look like. And to get these swirls, squeeze it and let it go in here. Isn't that great? And when it stops, add a little more. That's pretty close. Sorry. Sometimes I have problems with boundaries. And it pretty much works with anything. I haven't seen anything it doesn't work with. And there you go. Oh, look how nice. Did you get that? The sides here? Beautiful. A plus. A plus. <laughs> A plus. <laughs> okay, so now let's try it and see if it's as good as it looks. I've made this with uh, peanut butter ice cream with jelly variegate. So you have peanut butter and jelly ice cream. I've made every kind of cheesecake this way. Where's our, uh, our metal spoon? All right, I'll use this. I like that metal one. That's good. Yes. Do you want to try answering some questions now, or do you want to go sure. right to lunch? No, that's good. That's do, good. Do you want to do questions? Christy, could you help me carry a couple chairs in? Chairs. We've got to take them from the hall. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks yesterday for helping me. Mm-hmm. 